We're good at what we do. <laughs> Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Cardinal Esports. We have a lovely match for everybody tonight. SGSU's blue team going up against... Uh, mm, what are we? St. Louis uh, University. One, we get to see a little bit more of some of the other teams we usually spectate the or like eight teams for different things so we get to see the b team a little bit here so that that should be a good time i am absolutely overjoyed uh i am aquatic casting with this fellow lovely man right here if he wants to introduce himself i'm Vinny. i'm the captain of the, the red team the absolute goat for real no cap uh of overwatch uh here at at saginaw valley at saginaw valley i'm pretty pretty sick what are we looking at for tonight? I know you've uh, you've played a lot of the game. What what do you expect? The game has changed a little bit recently. Uh, there there was just a patch. We're playing on this mm -hmm. patch, if I'm if I'm not mistaken. A couple yeah. of Reinhardt buffs, Mauga buffs, assorted, yeah. whatnots. What might you what might we see tonight? Um, I think they're gonna be a lot better off picking what they're comfortable at. Mm. So probably something with Junker Queen. We might see like an echo from Squishy. Mega's been playing a lot of Sombra. So they, they might do Queen Sombra Tracer. I saw Squishy playing Tracer earlier. Shadow plays a lot of Kiri. I'd say maybe a Kiri Lucio or a Kiri Moira. Mm -hmm. um, Queen Comp's pretty strong right now. I would be surprised if they deviated from it. But honestly, just about anything is viable at this point. I'm also relatively interested. So we're 3 and 3 right now. And basically, if we win we go on to playoffs if we lose we don't so a lot we'll on see. the line a lot on the line we got an uh it'll, it'll it'll be a good one it looks like maybe we're starting busan I don't, I don't know if that's just what popped up when we started the custom game or not but that would that, that would be a solid solid start uh this is the last um benny kind of mentioned a little bit of playoffs this is the last season or the last week last game. Rest, regu regular season game for all of the all of the teams for san Valley esports or for necc so yeah it's kind of the it's kind of the decider here i don't i can't i don't know off the top of my head all the teams for svsu that have made it to playoffs i i honestly I no couldn't idea. tell you off the top of my head but uh, hopefully, hopefully, we're adding SVSU B to uh, onto there tonight on their night. If anybody I do know Rocket League C team did make it, did they? There go. I think they're going crazy. Let's go. They're, I think they're go. undefeated so far. But let's go. I know League of Legends B team. I think is undefeated as well. Nice. I think they're they're also so that that's really cool. No, no, nope. one loss, one, one loss. loss, one loss. But that they should still have made playoffs. I'm not mistaken. Oh, uh, for sure. Quick shout out to anybody. I we. Of course, the esports room is over in our Student Life Center. For anybody on campus, they're actually having a Student Life is having a St. Patrick's Day party. Come, come on down, check out what's going on. There's, mm -hmm. there's free food. There's free food. Uh, so anybody at here at Saginaw, head down to Student Life. It's the thing next to Papa John's. Yeah, the thing next to Papa. There John's. are very large cookies. Like, very, like very about the size cookies. of my head. Good. Cookies. Very nice cookies. <laughs> very nice cookies. So. And was there? And if anybody is already tuned in from uh, from St. Louis here, welcome, welcome. Uh, good luck, have fun. Good luck, have fun. I think we'll we'll be getting in relatively soon, so we will. Uh, we got a few things to figure out. We might take a quick break. It looks like it might take a second to figure out. So so we might we might, mm -hmm. yeah, take a quick sec to look at that. We'll be back in in just a sec. Don't don't go anywhere. Uh, and if you want to see a little bit more in person about what's going on. Student Life Center, you can head on head on down there. So we'll be back in just a sec. Just a sec. Stay tuned.
I, yeah, we are back. We are back. Things sorted out. We are just about to get started in a sec. Looks like Nepal will be the first map. I think a personal favorite. I think a, a fan favorite. There's lots of, of places that you can throw people off maps uh, at, at certain points. Or on, on, on the one point, at least. I, I think it's a cool map. I think, uh, you can t I think you can technically get someone off the map on all three points. It's like, off the side here, they're yeah. Off the side there. And the I'm, other one, yeah, over by this like statue, over by the mm -hmm. yeah. And then there's like a hole in the other one. Yeah. Fun map. Big fan. Big fan. Oh, and it's sorted by red and blue. I've never seen the things you notice from above. Things you notice from above. Looks like a bit more. Uh, I, I guess brawl. A little bit of brawly. A little bit of poke from from the side of Saginaw. Uh, yeah. What are we looking at with these two teams? Really? Oh, yeah, so it looks like they want to play a bit more pokey. Um, another thing is Reaper did get buffed this season, so mm. he is very, very strong right now. So I would expect to see a decent amount of Reaper. Sweet, sweet. Got the Cassidy as well. 
um, for the uh, for the side of St. Lawrence. We'll be, we'll be watching them at the start here. Most teams, if I'm not wrong, tend to go for that high ground. Yep. Looks like deviation here. Yeah, um... SVSU wants to set up on point so that they can poke for a little bit longer. They have a Kiriko and an Ana, mm. as long as as well as a Sojourn, which excel from a bit of a longer range. So in the fight here, you can already see Saginaw wants to uh, take a little bit more of these fights. They're kind of behind the point here. A little bit letting the Reaper duck behind cover while the rest of everyone Ooh, else stays back. Thing. Huge from Falcon overheats his gun. A little butt still back in the fight. Cast is a little bit low. Still haven't lost anybody. Get that. Yeah, they got the Reaper up close. It's going to be huge. The brawl with the Orissa, knock people around into the Reaper. Plenty of shots onto the tank. St. Lawrence gonna be in a rough spot. They're still down. One blackjack should be soon uh back and soon. Here we go. Saginaw. Gonna have to back up a little bit. Deadly will get low, they'll have to invest Suzu to keep everybody up. Shield will go up as well. Where is Saginaw at? What? Where's everybody? Oh, we're, are we just <laughs> stacking on point. Where are they? Yeah, they we're... do have the objective, so it's ticking over for Saginaw. We're farming Nano like crazy. Like he's already at 90. He's outpacing every other support. At least keeps getting low here, but using the Ramacha arm block to to stay alive. You only take like 10% of your uh, damage from that. Do already have Nano? You could throw it on a Mega, keep him alive. Probably no. Will still be fine. You can also throw it on the tank to uh, keep them up. Maybe. Yep. There it is. Huge Mega finds one. We'll be able to steamroll it into two more. That's gonna be huge. What? Mega with four. Uh, Let's go. Let's go. What's making Saginaw find that find that win for that fight? Oh, what so they, they had control for the entirety of it, and honestly, there just wasn't much pressure. The Ana got to just cycle cooldowns and farm Nano, and the Ramatra never really is gonna kill the Orisa, and Saginaw just having more angles. Like they they just got more value out of their abilities. It's gonna be an alt fight though, so mm -hmm. we'll see what ends up happening. Four alts here on the side of St. Lawrence. Only two for Saginaw, although they might get the, uh, the Sojourn up relatively quickly. You can see it's probably going to pop the Ramatra ult pretty soon here. Getting, uh, taking plenty of space here with the Kira Gault. Yep, there's the Ramatra ult. Uh, Longy finds one onto Shadow as well. So much pressure onto the front line of Saginaw. Deadly is just barely alive, but Squishy finds one before going down. Gets at least up to, uh, to 97. So just one more team fight will win for Saginaw. Saginaw. Yeah, that was all five alts for Saint, for, for Saint Lawrence. Uh, we traded for just a Kiriko alt, so we should be able to come back in. We almost have another Reaper alt. That's insane. <laughs> I never thought eight percent would matter that much. They decreased his alt cost by eight percent and increased his damage a little bit. I never thought it charged this fast. It's fast. We're, we're coming up on three alts, and they might try and combo the Arissa alt with uh, Death Blossom Ooh. Reaper alt. We'll see. It looks like they're gonna try and run straight to point here. Seems to be the uh, the favor for Saginaw. Maybe they just want to get to that cover as fast as possible, and they're willing to take a little bit of that open sightline from low ground to get there. As you can see, they do take a, a touch of damage, but not anything too terrible. Investing it, the Sojourn ult, it's going to get a lot of damage. Here's the Orisa ult as well. Huge Reaper ult still in the back pocket if needed, but I don't think they will. they got plenty of kills. Falcon has three in this fight. Last one about to go down. They should be able to take over the, the timer in just a second here. I don't think they'll be able to touch for an overtime. 98, 99. Oh, overtime was hit at some point, but that will be the first map for Saginaw. Only 50% for St. Lawrence. Nice. I think, I want to say Saginaw, yeah, as you said, had a lot better um, understanding of, like, of what pressure was going to matter in the, the situations when they could when they could stick around, one, when the abilities were going to get value. Uh, and whatnot, they just they had a little bit more control in the neutral there, and around and around the objective. The objective play was really good. Yeah, it uh, they played really well around the Ana nade, and the fact that Reaper could just kind of tempo in and out, and they also had a better ult icon. The, mm -hmm. If uh, Saint Lawrence had not burned five ults in one fight, there's a chance they could have taken that map. But if you just burn five, you're guaranteed to lose. What are we looking at this, these team comps here? A couple of changes. Um, Zarya wants to play a bit slower, and it should be better at enabling the Reaper. Theoretically, it should be favored into Sagan. Really? I always thought Zarya was a little favored into Orisa, at least. Yeah, that, that's why I said it should be favored into Oh, oh gotcha. Right. 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 Running into Isaac. We'll see, though. We'll see. Uh, hey, Orisa always can make some power plays. 
with moving people around the map. A lot of damage here on Saginaw. They gotta take a second to get healed up, take some cover, and give up a little bit of space. Nade's gonna go down. They will lose Shadow right at the start. They at least got the Kiriko uh, lens out pretty fast, but they'll probably just have to back up here. Everyone's getting pretty low. Falcon's about 100 health. Mega got low as well. Squishy might not make it out. Oh yeah, no, it has the has the dash. We'll be we'll be fine. I'm expecting Saginaw probably to slow down a little bit here. Might see a little bit more of letting trying to let the sojourn find the value for a sec. Maybe try to try to get some railgun shots, get somebody low, uh, and then try to try to get in. We'll see. We'll see. We see the Reaper engaging onto the Zarya. You're gonna be able to chunk it, but of course Zarya is just going to laser you down. You'll have to leave pretty high charge here. Still two bubbles. Pretty solid Zarya should be able to. Yep. <laughs> Still more charge going up. That is potentially the scariest tank in the game uh, under under the right circumstances, aka high charge. I will have to back out for a little bit. Again, yeah, you, we saw that the nades getting value. Couldn't quite heal through everything. Maybe the DPS passive uh, coming in clutch there. Blackjack in the back line finds two kills onto both supports. They'll be able to back up. Is the is the Zarya making the difference here? Is this why they're switching? Um, I think so. They're trying to play an in-your-face version of Orisa into a Zarya comp. Zarya excels at a shorter range with a high charge, and uh, they're not really taking advantage of the strengths of that Orisa comp, where, which would be poking in the distance. The only thing that could poke on their team would be that's questionable. Hey, found one. One down. That's a, that's a one-team fight in my books. Uh, I was talking about the over from us. Oh, I see. <laughs> <laughs> we'll not be able to find any value. Picking up towards the mid 80s in percentage here. Saginaw will have to uh, group up pretty quick here to get on and trigger overtime. I think it's within three seconds of yep. hitting 99. It's like 2.7, but yeah, basically. Oh, 2.7. Well, uh, they do have. Make it exactly. Oh, switched off with the Kiriko. Oh, they just oh, they had to get there in time. The touch. They had to get there in time. I don't, time. Think, they I don't do. think they can touch. Yeah. <laughs> What was it about that game? Was it was it the switch in comp? Was it the map? Maybe a little bit of both? Um, they kind of just tried to run it down mid. And mm. they never really established on angles. Like, if you get a Sojourn and a Kiriko on that upper left high ground, right, um, right where that Junkrat was playing, it's a lot easier for you to take space because the other team has to respect your mm. angles or they just lose. Sure. St. Lawrence played it pretty, pretty well. They actually kept their economy this time. So even if Saginaw was able to touch, they had they were running into a tire and a Kiriko ult. So never what you want to run into. Yeah, those are really. terrifying. Another change in team comp here, oh, at least a little bit. Saginaw is going to switch Squishy onto the Ash, which, if I'm not mistaken, got a buff or two. Am I incorrect? No, no, that, that was an Ash. That was an Ash. Um, but still really strong. Um, I would say on this part of the map, snipers have a lot more opportunity to to make plays here because of. The more open sideline, so maybe maybe it'll have, maybe that'll find something. Maybe that'll find something over the sojourn. But she will get a little bit low in the back line as well. Dead, I always see Dreadly PhD at low health, but never really dying. So um, you gotta love the health management there. Running through the alts, Mega's gonna get a little bit low as well without uh, the extra pressure from the Ash. I don't think they'll be able to take too much space. Mega's gonna go down. Sagar's gonna have to back up, especially with Swing Forces Zarya at such high charge. Although, neither team really has the ability to get on to point out of it. They're, they're kind of holding each other here. You can see Dreadly went for it, but is, uh, is getting a little bit low from it. We'll find it on to Falcon. Yes, Saginaw definitely has to back up at this point. Switching over to the Bastion. Extra pressure. Hey, you can burn through the Zarya bubbles. And try to burn her down. That's always that's always a solid play. Mega's going to get a little bit low. Not the way to go with Falcon. Ooh, that's almost a grab. That's, that's a quick grab. That was fast. Yeah, I mean, when he's just getting to farm all of the charge and just everything he can ever want. We'll see that pop up already. Will they, yep, they're going to pop it right now. It's going to get about four of them. Get in plenty of damage. Those Junkrat mines are going to do absolute savage things to a team that is in a grab. All that explosion damage is going to is going to tear Sagnar to shreds. Um, Will manage to someone's arrived going in with the grab finds four. I don't think anyone's gonna be there to follow up. They will get all low. They have the bat lamp, keep each other alive as well. Now that Saginaw definitely can't push into this with the bat piece. Alt there investing the oh, squish is gonna go in with the bastion alt. Maybe it'll find some damage. Whoa, oh, actually finds the finds kill on the wonky, but I is Saginaw, I think they're all still grouped up. They might be able to make it on the site here. Yeah, they got the bastion in position. Damage onto the high ground. Will they maybe burn through the reaper? Yeah, they have the Baptiste, Lamp keeping everybody up. Mega will find the kill on the Blackjack. 
Stagger's gonna be able to take the point here. I don't think St. Lawrence is in a position where they can get in. Mega goes in with the ult. They'll also have to uh, invest the lamp, find the kill on the Eddie. St. Lawrence is kind of split here back towards Zaganoff spawn. Mega's just gonna be able to clean up. Just as Aria left, it's gonna be a pretty huge stagger. Unless? Oh, we'll uh, Hey, that's doesn't the right, give all charge. Doesn't that's give the all right charge. play there. That's the right play, yeah. yeah. Ooh, alts are looking a little interesting. Speed to rush view rush. They have another grab, which is actually <laughs> that's crazy. That's crazy. What is that? Let's give them it's gonna be really huge to combo, potentially with tire. Yeah, with tire. Or even just naked junk vines, like. Yeah. I love all the all of the charge that we're consistently seeing St. Lawrence's Zarya get. Yeah, it's at least 20 to 30 per bubble, if not the full 40. Always at high charge. There's the, there's the grab. We'll just find Falcon. Oh, it actually finds three. And again, they have to get the lamp. Suddenly, Mega in the back line, though, finds one. Gonna make it a find before Sagan's favorite. Gonna be able to wraith out. Probably pretty low. Actually, we'll make it out. Mega's still alive. The Bastion all the way in the back. Investing plenty of utility saying, hey, no, you cannot come out here. This is our this is our zone. Ticking up to about 60% here. Maybe two team fights at most, but this one is looking Sagan our favor. Yeah, St. Morse is gonna have to back up. I got, we're coming up on five volts here. We're gonna have a grab of our huge. own. Uh, I don't know if you noticed it or not. Tanner managed to, or Falcon managed to break the tire before it hit anyone. Oh, did it? And we had enough util, so like, lamp and all that. To the flank you're trying to go down to the bottom, but no! Mega's in there with the ult. He's gonna find a whole bunch of damage. They're gonna have to take a second. Some tempo. Oh, Saganon's getting low themselves. Oh, investing the grab finds four, but there's the window. Nobody's left alive to capitalize on it. And Saganon's have to gonna, uh, is gonna go down. They lose all of their ults. I suppose so does uh, St. Lawrence. There's just one coming back online for Saginaw, but it's Bastion ult, which is not going to be able to be comboed with anything. They don't have grab anymore, so they don't have that combo. 70% on the timer for St. Lawrence. You basically, you have one team fight. One this solid this team is fight. going to be the last team fight, most likely. This is it. It's only going to come down to this. Again, one ult, but not too much. Blackjack might get his up. Blocky finds the first kill on Omega. That's going to be huge. Fighting down a player is massive. A couple of players getting low. here, Squishy with the ult. If this finds value, that could be the easy tie. Maybe. At least a little bit of zoning. Some damage onto, onto Baptiste, but everyone's going to stay alive. They have a little bit of space, and they keep the Zarya charge on point. Back comes the Reaper. You got to stay grouped up with the team. Tank's getting a little bit low here. Okay, what's fine? Falcon finds the first one on the Blackjack, but it's deadly low. There's another grab for St. Lawrence. Here comes the tire. Does it find anything? Go to 3v3 on point long. He finds one with the tire. I think it's just Shadow and Mega on point staying alive. They're fighting the Zarya. It's close. Zarya finds him. Eddie finds the last one and it's in a nail biter. St. Lawrence has managed to win the fight, right? What a team fight. Wow. Whew. That was really well played. I think, that was awesome. I think this is going to be a good match. We're, gonna, we're, we're having a good time. We're having a good game here. This could go to five. This could go to five. I honestly, that's all I want to see. From the, like, right. of course, you know, we're we're casting here at at, at Saginaw uh, in the Saginaw. You, but man, do I just love seeing a close fight. Oh man. So the double Reaper, the mm -hmm. double Zarya, the the double Kiriko. Mm -hmm. So there's there's some similarities. Who like? Where where are the different teams getting value? Where is Saginaw getting value from theirs, Arya? Where's St. Lawrence getting from theirs? Um, how are how are how are these matchups going into each other? So the main differences are the Junkrat versus the Ash, Bastion, Sojourn, whatever you whatever Squishy was playing at the time. So when you look at it, Saginaw wants to play a lot more pokey mm. and they're forced to use their bubbles more defensive because of the Junkrat. You want to be able to engage with your Reaper and have him TP in, you bubble him, and then he can fade out. Mm. You get charge, Reaper gets damage. It's a win-win. St. Lawrence is able to do it a little bit better. They also had Baptiste for the mm. uh, second period. I think it was pretty close to me. We both had Bap at the end, right? The only difference yeah. was uh, Bastion versus Junkrat. Mm -hmm. Knowledge? I think so. Um... I want to say, outside of that, I I want to say St. Lawrence I, was getting a lot of damage out with their For Zarya. Sure, yeah. Um, but I don't think 
like both were finding value with their bubbles onto the reaper mm -hmm. but it was it was it was mostly self bubbling um to 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 get up to charge and you kind of have to do that into into a junk rat or a bastion it's kind of it's kind of hard yeah. to set up there you kind of just have to save those so you don't get blown up but next map here these these both both these teams look like they do pretty well kind of brawling it out mm -hmm. doing a little bit of brawl and brawl and poke rialto at least to me is always edged on the side of of poking especially uh towards certain parts of the map there are there are more closed parts but it's always been more that poke so um maybe we'll maybe we'll be going back to the orissa something like that uh yeah. is, is is the assumption swapping sides oh yeah i guess yeah they get to pick the yeah 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 i gotcha i gotcha what what else is pretty popular on rialto that we might see uh queen comps pretty mm. good I, I see a lot of queen comp or winston mm. Uh, Winston, Kiri, Lucio with a Tracer, and you can play a Sojourn, a Sombra, an Echo, a Doomfist, pretty good too. Just a uh, really, really fast paced, um, with a lot of mobility is strong right now, mm. especially on Rialto, because if you if you want to poke, it's a really, really linear map. So you have to either poke or you have to beat poke, and the mm. way to beat poke is to just basically skip the poking phase fast. and just <laughs> fly Go right them as to fast the, as yeah. possible. Yeah. You can do that with a double speed from Queen, or you can do it with uh, a Winston jump or a Doomfist punch or slam, something along those lines. So when you say Tracer, I'm 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 curious because when I'm normally seeing Queen or um Poke comp set up, they're normally on the high ground facing towards towards the cart, and Tracer doesn't have any vertical mobility. Where it does Tracer find the value um on this map? What what positions is she going all the way underneath up the stairs? Tracer can do a lot of things. The, the character is just very very strong right now it's super you're super versatile you can apply the passive it doesn't matter how much damage you deal mm. um if you just spray a couple shots from narnia and you hit like <laughs> even two damage on everyone on the other team they're all taking that 15 percent less healing it's 20 right uh they, was it just they dropped oh, it to, right. they nerfed it's it to nerf. it's 15 nerf. after the last patch which i think i think it's a pretty decent number i think maybe 70 nicer but it is what it is. I don't mind either direction. Might have been a little bit too punishing for tanks who just weren't uh, accustomed to dying yeah. because of how overtuned healing was. Yeah. But as an Arisa player, I uh, I was in fact not not ready to die. <laughs> uh, <laughs> that 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 was a bit of a shock. That was a bit of a shock. Yeah, Tracer gets a lot of value even if she's just pushing cart underneath it. Mm. That lets your other team, uh, the rest of your team set up. You can also play Reaper too. Reaper's pretty strong. Sure. sure. Maybe some TP spots or some nice flanks. You can kind of go all the way around. Go through the little little room on the side. I know you don't normally see it, but at least it's an extra path. Extra path. I don't know. I don't know about everyone else, but on at least on in my quick play games, I'm usually seeing a Widow. I don't know if it's good. But that's what I normally see. <laughs> Widow is not very good right now. Uh, when you're trying to run it into like a Winston yeah, or I suppose, a Doomfist. Yeah. Yeah. A comp like what, like what Sagan is playing is what I'd go. expect to see. Yeah. Moira is also really strong right now just because of how survivable she is. She has a cleanse on a short cooldown and Coalescence builds really, really fast. Mm. You see her if you want to play a more brawly style. Now... For my own, for my own sake of mind, why the echo just o like over far right here? I, I don't, don't actually uh, know much of the difference. I know they're both super fast right now. So is echo, why, I, what? why echo over far? So Farah excels in a sustained fight and uh, echo wants to finish a fight quickly, especially with how her stickies interact with the damage passive. So the other team is playing Baptiste, right? Mm. So Baptiste shift is his best option into Echo's stickies or sticky bombs. If um, Echo stickies hit, they apply the passive, and then the shift does seventeen percent less healing ah. uh, to to Baptiste himself. So he's more likely to die. That's huge. That's huge. You can see the queen comp being able to just bolt around on the low ground here, get to take the fights when they choose, and get to push the cart. That's one of the things about the poke. You're assuming you're going to be able to, the poke will get you kills, which it does finally find one, but Saginaw's able to kind of push the cart for free. 
Um, because they're so fast, they can get below uh, the poke comp. And now, yeah, force them onto the low ground where they don't quite as much want to be. More towards where the queen wants to. Ooh, doing lamp best lamp. 30. Now it is still Saginaw down one here, but that'll come back pretty fast. Mega looking to maybe find something in the back line. Mm, these are Baptiste is definitely a, an attackable target. Back here onto the tank, lots of damage. Oh, Suzu. Maybe it, Saginaw might look to to rush up here, but again, this is a pretty open area, so I'm not quite sure if they want. They, they just, might just want to play around Karth the whole time. And again, you're you're a long range comp. You, you can't really you're not looking to contest the card here. Make us finding some damage. That's a really fast ult. That's unfortunate. Because, because the Sigma was already hacked, he couldn't get hacked oh, again. Nice shots from Squishy. Whoa. He gets both supports. What? In the back line, five health will make it out. Two, a couple of headshots. That's going to be huge. Sagnar's going to be able to push up now. Now that there's no healing, Mega can go crazy in the back line. No I sustain. The, dream. the pressure is too much. They're going to have to back up. And they should cap the first point. Although Jelly does manage to take out uh, Sergeant Pepper on the way. But I think maybe they'll be able to get it before. Oh, absolutely. And if they need to, they can invest the beat. And that's going to replace all the sustain mm. that Moira would uh, apply. Yeah. Mega gets poked out here a little bit. But yep, there it is. Now he has to come back from spawn. Back. Now for the fun part. Playing, playing Queen into Orisa and mm -hmm. trying to clean a poke comp off the high ground at the same time. Oh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, that doesn't sound fun, especially when there's there's always that threat of the the water of doom right on your side that you can get javelined into. Who doesn't love flying through the air and then <laughs> either landing on a boat or just falling to your demise? It's a lovely little not coin flip because it's mostly water, but you know, a weighted coin flip where you are probably gonna die. Ooh. Finds the kill onto Mega. That's gonna be that's gonna be really nice. Saginaw is does manage to push everything, but what squishy? Suddenly there's a bomb on the field. I didn't even hear him go down. Find yeah, he coach right gunned on the high ground and dropped Bob behind the Arisa, which ended oh. up which ended up forcing the soldier to either run back or drop, and he absolutely made the wrong oh. choice of running into the Saginaw team. And that's Ash too. Squishy going crazy, finding so many kills, uh, so many finishing. Jelly is going to invest the Orisa ult, but they have beat to get everybody out of it. Here's the Queen ult. It gets stunned! At least find the purple on the Orisa. Matter. That's the only one you need to hit. That's the only one that matters. Blackjack finds the kill on the J-Rod. Mega finds it on the Blackjack. It's going to go Saginaw favor. They're just steamrolling. Lawrence can't find their footing. They can't, uh, they can't get the contest that they're looking for. There's the Yeah, I, I, I love Queen Mirrors. I think they're the most honest form of Overwatch you can have. Yeah, <laughs> not nowadays because Reinhardt's not the best, and you know. Rest in peace. Rest in peace. Okay. He's <laughs> he, not designed he's for this. Quite, actually, he's a lot better now with 120 damage fire strike. Yeah, but that's a huge Whoa. knife. Friendly will go down early to some crazy plays from Saginaw. The CC is awesome. Gonna have to invest a couple of abilities trying to keep everybody alive. Blackjack's gonna get hit in the back line, TPing out. Oh, yep, goes oh, down, mega. mega. Finishing up two kills, St. Lawrence. Still four minutes on the clock, and Saginaw is here. Knife in the back. Falcon is crazy with the queen. Maybe the EMP comes in and makes something, uh, make it even worse here. Absolutely. That's Bell invested. If they EMP here, that, that should be the map. Oh, here comes the EMP. Finds three as well. The hacks. Everybody rushes in. Falcon, Mega, and Squishy all finding kills. At least there's a Bob on point to try to make something happen. A little bit of damage, but uh, Bob is, was not there to contest payload, and Sagna will take it with three minutes 30 on the clock. That's a blistering play pace. And he Ooh. had Queen ult again. Sheesh. <laughs> Yippee. Falcon, the new tank player for Saginaw's B team, has, has been putting out some absolutely crazy games where the KD is four or five, and it's kind of insane. Uh, man just kills people, he was and it's fantastic. He was 49 and seven last week. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, on Arisa. It goes crazy. It yeah, goes crazy. Falcon and Squishy just decided we're gonna win this point. <laughs> Fantastic play here. Bradley switching back over to the Zarya. Probably probably more of the comfort thing. Maybe that's just what they're used to playing. Mm -hmm. Not sure. yeah. Definitely a, a comforting character for, for a lot of tank players. She's not necessarily like the most difficult or complicated. She's a lot more of like a, I like to call them, call them a, a flowchart hero. 
Sure. So basically, it's the entire character is an if then else statement. Yeah. <laughs> if you have bubbles, you can walk forward. If you don't, don't. It's as easy as that. <laughs> Do you have charge? Do you have bubbles? Walk forward. Do you not have charge or bubbles? Don't, don't walk forward. Here is the widow. I said I saw it in my ranked games. We'll 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 see if it finds anything here. They have really split. Ooh, oh, nice shot. What a shot! Finds out on squishy. They were not ready for that. Yeah, as you, I don't think widow, as you mentioned, has been pretty popular at least at the higher levels. Not really, unless you're like crazy you with widow. Yeah. Like, uh, if you watch any of the OWCS watching Profit on Widow, not, not Profit, like, P-R-O-F-I-T, yeah. Profit as in, like, oh, like, yeah. It's two for Blackjack. Ooh, and another on the Mega. Who is this? Out of nowhere. But the, the tanks brawling it out on the on the card here, not letting each other find too much purchase. Oh, the, 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 the duel. Wait, we gotta see it. We gotta watch it through. I think Sushi's just gonna ignore it. I think Sushi's just gonna ignore it. Ooh! <laughs> that fall off damage. Yep, Tracer in the back line. Barsic is is making it really hard for a person to find anything. He's gonna go really low. Oh, most of the second one is pretty low. Blackjack finds one on there. Oh, who is this? Finds another one onto Mega. Ooh, that's damage, maybe. Maybe. Squishy can find it. Taken out by Blackjack. That I know from the little bit I play Widow is. That's the easiest thing to hit. Oh! Ooh. Investing the ult, making trouble go down. Oh, there's the grab! Look at the grab! Falcon doesn't even go down from it! It finds one uh, in Falcon, but not a kill. Oh, Falcon cleaning just up. went crazy. Eating here. They the used Suzu is and a, a bubble, and just... That was it. That was it? They didn't have defensive cooldowns, and they just lost. They, I'm surprised they invested grab there. I know you want to try and catch the queen ult, but regardless... As, Zar as Zarya, you're the only person that's like in danger of dying. Kiriko should be able to TP. Bap should be able to left uh, like jump away. But yeah. 100% yeah. Ooh, nice an shot. impactful ultimate, but not as impactful as a random headshot. Both widows finding a kill early onto the uh, opposing team's DPS. Mega's gonna find the kill on a blackjack, so it's gonna be a 4v3 Saginaw Valley's favor. Mega's gonna get out Ooh, right onto a boat. There was that moment of oh crap, that's water. And uh, everybody, everybody in this game is simply a cat. They they don't like water. But, I mean, losing defense is, is, a, is a kill on the defender is a lot more impactful than a kill on the attacker because of how much further away the spawn is. So if if Saginaw loses too many, Eris is gonna invest the ult and will at least take down, of course, out the back lamp. But Falcon finds two. J Rod finds another, and it's once again Saginaw Valley too. They're gonna invest the Widow ult just to make sure they find everybody. No one comes in from the back line. J Rod and Mega getting up some of these kills, and Saginaw's full holding at this first point. Only about a minute left for St. Lawrence. They've got four ults banked as well. Oh dear, four four good ults at that. If, four impactful ults. If they can bait Suzu. They win. If they can bait Lamb, they win, probably. St. Lawrence at least does have the grab here, which is uh, definitely a power power ultimate. If you get Blackjack in there and start ripping people to shreds, maybe you find something. Here comes the Coalescence out. You're going to have to invest both your bubbles, stay alive. Can they find it? Yep, they're, they're just going to come in. It's going to find a few of them, but the EMP in the back line is right at the same time. They're not going to be able to follow up on it. Falcon finds the one on the Blackjack. Everybody's low. Bears finds one on the Megan's 4v4 right now. Widow has a fantastic angle, pretty safe. The Widow watch, and Squishy wins the Widow. It's gonna be huge. Saginaw's gonna have so much more pressure from range now. Here comes the Queen Ult finding it, and there's no, oh, but there, there's the Susan keeps everybody up. Stay alive for now. Falcon's actually gonna get deadly low. Blackjack's gonna find the kill on the Falcon. Everyone's gonna have to back up. What happened? I thought Saginaw was up two. They're gonna, now they're backing up. They lost Falcon. I think they should be able to touch at least because of how little the cart was pushed up, but it's gonna be close. Falcon's probably not gonna make it all the way back before somebody has to contest. Yeah, that's the nice thing about Sombra though. Sombra should be able to decloak and then just trans okay back up the high ground after touching. Huge pick from Squishy. Finds it early. Falcon is back. That gets the lamp out. Squishy finds it. Blackjack finds one on the Mega though. It's a 4v4. Friendly finds one. Friendly finds another. Falcon is obviously brawling as much as possible. It is in the back line, Squishy's doing as much as possible, but Dreadly is going crazy, finds three kills that fight, and they will take the first point. Hello. They'll take it. Oh, just two minutes left. Saginaw's gonna have to find some... 
is I gotta find some value. St. Lawrence has gotta find some value here. It has to push this cart, this entire portion of the map with only uh only two and a half minutes. They are coming up on a Grav Blossom, though. A, he That's built a Grav in a fight. He grabbed at the start of it, and he already has another one. So much damage. I want to see the pad at the end of this game and how much uh, statistics are being put out. Oh, Lord Falcon! In a huge burst, investing a lot of all, the, all those things how directly where to start, they're going to have to invest in Lamp. Lawrence is going to be missing that key utility, especially good for dealing with alts. Mega might actually go down here in this fight. Yeah, Blackjack and uh, in Barrett. Marsic is going to find it. Here's the grab, finds the remaining three. Down goes Lamp. Everyone's going to stay at least for a second, but it's going to find enough damage that uh, no one's going to be able to stay alive for that fight. Fishy's trying to make something happen. Falcon's up for at least a little bit longer, but down goes the rest of Saginaw. Now, back up to the fast pace that we saw before. St. Lawrence's question. Oh, Ooh, nice shot. What was that? Squishy's, Squishy's in his, like, nah, I'd win phase. Like, he is cooking right now. Usually he plays flex DPS. I'm surprised. I know he liked to play Ash. That wasn't really a surprise yeah. to me that he was doing well in that. I don't think I've seen him play Widow, mm. to be honest. He's cooking. Simply cook. Oh. Here's the Reaper. Oh, dancing. Dancing. We do still have the. Oh, two foot, uh, close misses. Oh, this chaos. There's so much going on. Oh, they're gonna have to invest a whole bunch to keep everybody alive. Blackjack moves, force out the lamp. Mega finds the kill. Uh, Any will find the one on Squishy in the background. That was still 4v4. Anybody's team fight. Alts are looking a little bit St. Lawrence favored. Yeah, they're gonna invest the. Invest the window. Keeps everybody up. Can't really peek that, so St. Morse is gonna have a whole bunch of space now to work with. They get the Zarya in the back line, finds the kill on the Falcon. Everyone's gonna have to try to stay alive, but uh, no, clean up here. And St. Lawrence, with over a minute and a half left on the clock, are pushing this into the final part of the map. Three alts here for this for the side of St. Lawrence. Few for Saginaw, but are they gonna be able to touch the point in time? They should. Oh, never mind. Maybe. Pepper gets... they touch. That's unlucky. They had five alts going into that last fight. They needed to just use them. What was that? St. Lawrence had tempo for the entirety of it. The best point to hold on Rialto is the second point, that high ground. Uh, Saginaw got past it by dropping a bob on the high ground and forcing mm. people off. Uh, we just never took high ground. Mm. We didn't really have... We didn't take a fight. From the advantageous from, position? From, sure. the, from the best spot. Mm. Um, That's really interesting, yeah. I suppose we didn't have too many outside of Squishy to post a thing. No, but it's still, um, if you take high ground, you dictate where the fight is going to be taken. Mm. And it's a lot harder to shoot staring directly up than it is to look to sure. You're more My likely to get a headshot that way. Yeah. Yeah, makes so... sense. Makes sense. Nothing. Pomps are going to look mostly the same. Mega's going to switch, uh, switch onto the May. Definitely a, a favorite for Saginaw. Especially last season, we saw a lot of May. We saw a lot of May from Saginaw. I know a couple of them play the character. So that's going to work pretty well with Queen. You can wall them, wall off like a tank or something, and just everybody uh, run with the, the Queen shout. We will see some of that. Especially in the Zarya, who doesn't have any mobility. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they're playing to wall off the Zarya. Uh, if you saw earlier, Tanner, or, sorry, Falcon. <laughs> sorry, I live with him. It's a lot. Yeah. <laughs> uh, he saw that the queen had used bubbles, so he amped and ran at the queen, or ran at the Zarya. So that's two bubbles down. Or, for, or that's one bubble down for Zarya. Once they see the second one, that's their go condition. Mm. So they should see two bubbles and then go. Mm. But uh, they've been doing it earlier. I'd be surprised if they stopped doing it. Uh, the wall doesn't quite find it. But a lot of bit of a poking, a back and forth here, a, a shuffling between the two teams. Oh, there's a there's a big there's a big knife will force out the the wraith really early. Lots of damage, but no kills. Again, it's a, it's a lot of shuffling right now. Neither team can really find it. I guess that's kind of what's going to happen when everybody in the game gets more health. There's there's gonna be a little bit more of this back and forth. A little bit more of CC coming into play. Can people get out of position? How is it going to work? Bar uh, Bartik is going to find one in, uh, on a squishy in the back line. That's going to be really bad. Now you still have to deal with that tracer in the back line. Maybe they find something. That goes out for... They do find the wall, but... Oh, it does actually find the kill on the kill. That's going to be massive. Both lamps invested on uh, both sides. 
friendly here. No charge, no bubbles. They do have a reload. Oh! Oh, it does actually hit two! Dreadly's gonna be able to cleanse it, but j Ron finds some kills. Falcon finds another one. It's looking Saginaw Valley favor, but she's on the ash. Falcon finds one, Falcon finds another! The kills! The kills, but she finds one on the Danu. That pick on Dakiri early and keeping the Zarya off of grab. Zarya has to play it way safer into May. Because if Zarya walks too far forward, they get walled. And Bubble does literally nothing. One axe breaks it, and then just you take a couple of shotgun shots to the head, and then yeah. that's it. Like how much health does Bubble have? Is it 200? Um Initiating That's a good question. It's like 200, 150, but basically one shot, one axe, or just one axe. It, the bubble's gone almost immediately. Sure. Sure. And I think it's what the first two thirds of it you get charged from up to forty, and the last part doesn't or something like that. I have no idea. I don't idea, think you get charged honest. for all of it. I should know this. <laughs> That's like my second most played character. I should know that. <laughs> anyway. Dreadly switching back over to the Ramatro we've seen a couple of times and going to the double sniper. Hello. They want to play a lot more pokey. Ram's pretty good at poking, especially with uh um, I want to say, say his shield got uh, a second order. I promise. Same with his I vortex. Little e ability. But do you know what happened to the last man I trusted? I don't. You know I don't necessarily agree with this decision to poke here, because of how much space Sagnol has. They just have to get it to the corner. They have three minutes to do I'll that. Safe. And I'd, Ash is fine. I'd much rather see something <laughs> more. Slow, some yeah. something that can slow the pace of a game down sure. instead of a widow yeah but a widow really ends the fight in, a, in an instant or two yeah if, if a widow gets a headshot that's the fight pretty much yeah you, you really shouldn't be trying to fight 4v5 especially here but they're gonna get a lot of free push and they might make it all the way to the corner big Ooh, dynamite big dynamite's gonna start building all parts really early threatens in a bad spot gets may walled right at the start and there's not much you can do with snipers you don't have a lot of damage to break wall blackjack actually will find a kill on the mega and everybody's gonna stay alive for the side of st lawrence nice huge action to pull off the back off the top and here's the axe onto the tank i'm gonna stay alive they have the bath lamp keeping everybody up a lot of damage a lot of pressure dreadley's gonna be in a bad spot Barsic is trying to, to hold everybody off in the back line. Mega's about to come back from spawn. But he's still on the uh, still up from the side of Saginaw. A little bit in the back line, couldn't quite find it. Dreadly does find one. But uh it's gonna look like it's gonna get pushed here. Oh squishy with two. Finds another one. It's just from Ocker on point. Yep, there's the axe. Three! Big damage! Big damage! And it's going to go. Yep. Saginaw takes it. One to one! Woo! Muy bueno. Muy bueno. Couldn't <laughs> say it better myself. Holy cow. I don't even know what to say. Woo. Yeah, this this is quite Woo. good. It's a... Uh, feels like it's kind of the battle of the tanks a little bit. You've got two stylistic things here. Like, you want to play the Zarya on the side of St. Lawrence, but... It looks like Saginaw's excelling at the Queen. Like, they, they tried Orisa, that worked, but then they just didn't know what to do about the Zarya. I, I think, honestly, I think both teams are going to be better off playing what they're comfortable on than trying to counterpick mm. and beat the other team out. Because, like, they went Ramatra, but they didn't play a DPS comp that would support the Ramatra. So when the wall went off, sure, Ramatra can just hold arms up, and he's probably not going to die. But he's going to be behind the wall for a proportionally longer time so he's essentially out of the fight for that entirety mm. because you're not going to have as much damage to break down the wall. Yeah, when you're when you're just sitting there in arms, a lot of a lot of different picks, a lot of switching up. We got to see a bunch of characters. I always love seeing Widow at at the higher levels of gameplay. I, I watching people get shot is is cool. That sounded that sounded that sounded a little weird. <laughs> if we didn't play video games, that would have been a really weird thing to say. Um, we'll take a, a quick break here as the teams are figuring out uh, what's going on. It, it, it shouldn't be too terribly long. Uh, but yeah, be back. Good match so far. Good match so far. See you in a sec.
All right, so, so it looks like my partner stepped out to get a drink of water real quick, but I'm gonna hop into Suravasa here and see how it goes. One and one on the series. It's been pretty close so far. Saginaw had the advantage at the end on uh, Yalto, but this should be a good match. Queen comp on the side of Saginaw, Doom comp on the side of Lawrence Tech, or not Lawrence Tech. St. Lawrence. I'm the tech. <laughs> uh, let's see. Dagonon wants to play a bit faster. I had ex I'm not sure if Shadow's going to stay on the Lucio or if they're going to swap back to the Kiriko like they've been doing every time, but it should be cool to watch. It's going to be two fast paced comps, two comps based around picks, and yeah, this should be entertaining. To so we've got a Mirrored Reaper and a Mirrored. Support comps. You've got a May on the side of Saginaw and a McCree or a Cassidy on the side of Uh Factor Deadly gets the charge punch almost immediately. That's Doom's like best ability. He's he's infinitely better once he has that punch. Moore's a little bit out of position here, and he's back. Did you get a cookie too? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it's, uh, it's just poking. We got first flip. Um, nothing crazy's happened. Uh, Lawrence has had to use St. Lawrence has had to use Suzu, but it's nothing crazy. It's Queen Doom. It's gonna be crazy the entire match. Yeah, I said nothing. Nothing too crazy. Oh, nothing too crazy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a finding um huge punch. They can find it on Sergeant Pepper. That's gonna be really huge. Especially in the back line, maybe able to flip the fight. Not quite. We'll get taken out by Dreadly. But uh, oh, I've been seeing Dreadly. Doctor Dead. Deadly. Yes. Okay. I didn't see the other D. Okay. Solid. Solid. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> we'll clean up. Doomfist is sick. He's got a PhD too. Doctor PhD man. <laughs> Let's see. So we're gonna have both support ults coming up. They're swapping over to the Arissa over the Queen, most likely just to punish the Doom. They've got a, ca uh, a Cassidy as well. Again, they're just gonna be able to punish the Doom. They're gonna play a lot slower than they did with the Queen. Oh, almost a good wall. What's the uh, risky here to CC the Doom around a little bit? Basically, yeah. yeah. You can uh, you can hurt Reaper a good bit more too. Sure, keep him out of position. Huge, sticky. Oh, Squishy and Mega will find some kills early. It's gonna be really bad. They're gonna have to. Uh, St. Lawrence is gonna have to respond by backing up. They're gonna try to make something happen with the the Doom Fist all. Maybe nope. They'll be able to get out of there with all the all the abilities. Doctor Doctor at least still up. Blackjack finds Mega. We'll barely get out! Doomfist is so much mobility. Doomfist is so fun. He's, he's easily the fun, funnest character. I think he's the most enjoyable thing to play. You gotta oh, stop giving him charge punch. But, 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 but he gets a slider. Oh, Sergeant Pepper! And nice the, the whole team will be able to, to be able to find the kill. Here's gonna go huge. Here goes crazy. Uh, it looks like they want to try and push out that uh, Cassidy that's on the right side. He's pretty much uncontested right now. I don't think like, test this. Five oh. volts. They, uh, the, Reaper can, the Reaper can touch. And they've got a the half four all versus five. Maybe. Here's the high noon. They're going to invest everything. They're going to try to make it work. We're going to see some coming out from Saginaw. Here's the mail trying to keep everything up. Squishy and Mega both find one. But here's Dr. Deadly. Nope. Down goes Blackjack. There's just going to be one or two left. Dr. Deadly's in the corner. Not much you can do. And he does find one on the Squishy. Dr. Deadly is alive for at least a little bit longer. But it will go. Saginaw Valley favor. I yeah. love I love Flashpoint so much. It's it's so fun. It's fast paced. It benefits all of the comps that I enjoy playing and watching. I don't. It's so cool. Uh, we got we kept Kiriko Rush too. That's really big. It's probably the best alt in the game for uh, not only just winning fights but building ultimates because you, you you get to use your abilities and just farm your stuff way way faster. Mm, I ne I've never thought of that. But yeah, that I'd expect that's why they went in with all four ults except for the rush because they're just going to build they might even get blizzard back off of it dr deadly going back in will go really low squish is going to find the hinder that's just checking the whole character with one ability that's massive dr deadly goes down again yeah he's not playing oh nice pick by mega but he's 
not playing as safe as he can. He's getting consistently punished by the hinder, and the way to get around that is you just you wait. You you, you play safe. You poke a lot with slam. It's two more picks for Saginaw. And they have just snowballing. Mm -hmm. They won't quite find it there, but the, the spear from now. That that cancels most of what Doomfist does if you hit the spear. Mm -hmm. If not all. Uh -oh, no. I think it's, yeah, everything but the ult. It'll stop the punch, it'll stop your slam, and it'll break you out of your block. Yeah. Nice shots from Blackjack. Yeah, I, I've seen some fantastic shots from this player on the Widow, and now on the, on the, the cast. Hopefully he's back. Ooh, Monkey back on the... His the signature jump. pick. The signature. The, the name Monkey just gives drunk red vibes. Too. Honestly, I would agree. He borderline carried. Oh, nice roll. This is gonna get really low. I feel like Blackjack just find one. Mega finds two with the old Falcon. Comes in and finds a few more. Eddie finds the kill on Blackjack. I think it's a 2v2 on point here. Pepper and Falcon line. versus Eddie the and Dr. Deadly. Oh, the tanks. Just the tanks. It's the tanks in the morning. Oh, it's so Orisa favored. It's so Orisa favored in the 1v1. Yeah. Easily. It's, it was not particularly a fair fight either. Pe uh, Pepper was still alive as well. Oh, I didn't even see. Yeah, it was uh, Dr. Deadly and Eddie versus Falcon and Pepper. Oh, dear. Let's see. So we've got two ults. Oh, they're going back to the Zarya, which I think this is this is going to be kind of bad for Saginaw. If they don't win the next couple fights relatively quickly, like you have Noon and you have Arisa ult, you've got Coalescence. You're all favored in the ultimates, but like in the neutral fight, Zarya might just take over again. There's not much they can do other than wall off the Zarya. So. You don't have too many solid bubble cards, though. You can kind of try to throw one the Tracer in the back line, but it's assuming the rest of the team is feeling this kind of hitter. Oh, yeah, yeah, here it is. Here's the Hero here, Rush. Gonna get a lot of fun. Oh my gosh, response from Saginaw, the wall. The Orisa all Dr. Deadly finds her on the squishy, squishy bot. No! Dr. Deadly finds another disrespect. So Saginaw favored at the start of this, investing so many alts. No, Dr. Deadly is pushed back, though, after finding two kills. Mega will finish, finish it up, but... Well, there's the Tracer in the back line. Falcon is low. Plenty of healing will keep everybody up. I think you got... Uh, May, Arisa, and... Is that Moira there? Yeah, Moira's Agatha, still low. So they're fine. They're fine. Yeah, Moira's oh. so hard to kill. The old investments there. I... I oh, they're so cool. I mean... This, this is looking... This is gonna be very St. Lawrence favorite here. He farmed mm. a grab in one fight. And they have Pulse to go with it as well. If they bait out Suzu, that should just be the fight. Because you, you grab, you pulse, you have a team. Well, then they do have lamp. Oh, no, I was looking at the wrong team. Never mind. Ooh, gold gets forced out. They I might not even need ults. The, the grab. Nope, nope. No tank. That's pretty much the fight, as is. I'm thinking everybody. Mega's off alone. Yeah. You cancel the ice blocks to give less ult charge to the other team there. They just won the neutral there. Yeah, they invest in window, but it's kind of a nothing ult, to be honest. It, just on this map with so much cover. Greetings. It's really hard to get value as your entire team out of window. Usually, if I'm playing Baptiste, it's a lot more to just benefit me. I'll burst heal the tank, or I can burst damage and maybe kill one person. But Flashpoint's so mobile that you don't get a ton of stat value out of a static ultimate. One that doesn't really move around. It's been already getting here and charging up a little bit of all. Finding the knife onto the tank. Plenty of self-healing from that as well. Here comes the rush. There's the grab, though. Was going to find three or four. Falcon's going to get really low. Nobody goes down. Actually, they stay alive through it. Falcon's still low. Dr. Deadly finds it onto Sergeant Pepper. Although, Maid does find it onto the map window. Eddie finds one onto Megas. That, that's probably it. Lauren's favorite. Saginaw's just down to three. Falcon says, I want that one. <laughs> <laughs> Before going down, St. Lawrence is going to take this point. Saginaw's going to regroup for the next one. Yeah, I... Two to one, two to one. And it looks like that Zarya switch is making all the difference here. Um, they just look... St. Lawrence looks so much more comfortable playing the Zarya than the Doomfist. Like, the Dr. Deadly is playing Doomfist, and he's kind of just using abilities. I, I don't yeah. know what you call it in Smash when you just... You press buttons and you hope to, like, hit. Autopilot? Uh, auto, like, I, I guess. Kind of, like autopiloting or mashing. 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 Oh, yeah. That, yeah that's the word. Mashing. Oh, yeah. uh, <laughs> I wasn't going to say which you, that you, you can get a lot of value off of that, but Saginaw's playing to punish a doom, so you can't just mash. You have to actively think. 
mm. and it looks like he's actively thinking on the road. Like, look, he, they just kited that blizzard. That's mm. one ultimate gone. They bubbled, and that's out. That was at least find a lot of value, and it will set up Squishy for some kills. I, I don't know how or where, but they at least come out of they, they come out of that with the fight. Even though the I think yeah. Trade pulse for Blizzard. Um, Doctor Deadly's almost back to another Blizzard or oh, to another grab. Who is this player? Oh my god. He is trying his hardest. That man is going crazy. <laughs> the absolute fiend. He's Looking back onto the tracer here. Oh, the, the fight's gonna break out on the side here. Investing the mail or the mail wall, not limiting damage. Here comes the flex. Here comes the, the ult. Here, literally everything is spot coming out right now. It's looking like it's gonna go back up favor. They find a couple of fights right at the start. There are the kills. Doctor, I thought they could go sack on favor. Is that a 5k for Falcon? Or? Oh, no, it 4K, was close. 4k, 4k, 4k. Five. Falcon! <laughs> from Falcon! Play of the game. Picking up to 80. I don't know if St. Lawrence is going to be able to regroup for a full push. They'll probably have to just send in two. Lonky's going to touch, and then they should get a decent fight. At least I think Lonky can touch. He's on Tracer. No! Oh! Oh, no! That's so unlucky. He's like a quarter of a second off. No. They, I think they needed the, uh, the Kiriko to go Lucio to boost him out of spawn. Maybe, yeah. Did they not want to? Do they have rush they, though? No, they they just used it the last fight. Maybe they're just not comfortable on Lucio. This yeah, fight this was, was insane. a huge rush. You invested uh, two ults per side, but the Suzu I think got used early for Lawrence Saint Lawrence. Maybe. And what was the Maywall? Yeah, I I'm pr I'm like fifty percent sure that they used Suzu on the Zarya, even though the Zarya was on the other side of the wall. Hmm. That'll put Saginaw up two to one in the uh, in the set. We're gonna go to game four, which is is push. it hybrid? Oh, it's push. Push, right? That's right. Yeah, you. Hybrid you, is five. Yeah, hybrid is five. Uh, yeah. Escort. Sorry. Uh, control. Escort. Flashpoint. Sure. 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 Where do you think we would go based on based on the games you've seen so far, based on what you know about about the flow of the game? Where would you expect? What are some of the options we have? First off. Um, I think St. Lawrence would probably be best off playing for either. Because there's Amas? New Queen. I'd say Esperanza is probably yeah. the best one for Zarya, if you want to play a Zarya Reaper comp. But you can get a lot of value out of playing Zarya on Coliseo as well, because there's a lot of cover, and you can... I, I'd rank it Esperanza, Coliseo, the New Queen Street. In terms of likeliness? It's in terms of... I think it's just the uh, the losing team picks. I don't think I don't think we get a ban. Hmm. That might just be flashpoint, but sure, sure. Is are, assuming we go like like for each of these maps, I, I'd imagine the the consoles change slightly. It I would assume for for Esperanza it would stay. Mostly the same? They're pretty similar. You can run a... So it looks like they want to play a double flex support comp, which is fine. That Zarya is pretty good with that because you want to play a lot slower and pokier for charge. Um, so I'd expect to see... If, if they wanted to run a similar Zarya comp, they would play like a Zarya and a Reaper. And you would play maybe an Ash. Well, I guess we're not oh, seeing Esperanza. There it goes. But you would see a... I guess we do get a ban. All right, it's just Flashpoint because... It was for a while, the winner basically got to pick the map because there were oh, only two of them, yeah. which was really dumb. But you know, uh, you you would play with like an Ash or a Sojourn, a Reaper, a Zarya, and then you would have a. I like Anakiri on that map, or an Ana Lucio. Lucio is just really good, Zarya and Reaper. Because mm. once once you have charge, and your Reaper has cooldowns, you want to be as in their face as possible. And Lucio enables that the best out of it. But it looks like they're not comfortable playing a Lucio comp or like a very, very fast tempo comp. So you want to play the Zarya comp slower. So you'd play a Ana or a Kiri or a Bap and a Kiri or Bap and a Zen, something like that. Just a lot pokier. I think there's a lot of comfort in that, in running a little bit of both. Yeah. I think all teams are, are pretty confident 
like like all Overwatch players are pretty confident in brawling yeah. and and pretty confident in poking, mm-hmm. or maybe some have a bit of a favor. And I'm gonna say most teams, especially below that really upper echelon, are are out of all of the different styles least confident in getting in a ball like that with a Lucio and speeding together because that takes the most coordination. And I imagine this this I don't, I don't want to say looser, but um. Uh, some someone sometimes more spread out comps um that that brawl poke mix is going to be most comfortable yeah i mean a lot of these players i would expect to have most of their practice coming from ranked and the occasional scrim so you're gonna inherently be drawn to a comp that would excel in ranked which is going to be a comp that has the most very potential for any person on the team like you saw how well Dr. Deadly was doing. Mm-hmm. He was farming grab almost every other fight. And they were insane. they were winning fights off of the grabs. And he so he's playing the character that he can carry the best on. And it looks like Eddie is doing uh, like God's work on the Baptiste, just keeping him alive and actually being able to pressure. Uh, if you watched a couple times in Rialto, he got the first pick once or twice. He was able to pick off Squishy, he was able to pick off Mega when he was getting dove by a Sombra. Mm. But I think I think it's a lot more complicated. I personally like the Ana because I think an Ana Lucio, especially with the new buff, the Ana's name with ninety damage, mm. it's crazy. That's like that's so a, much almost damage. a third. That's like a third of your health, a little that over it. So much. And playing a Reaper with a Lucio and a Zarya just lets you capitalize on that ability. Especially, I know we're not playing Esperanza. I, I don't think they picked anything yet, but uh, yeah. they call it Sale. I don't know. That's that's the NA map. Like, yeah. North American teams just like Colosseo. I don't yeah. know what it is. It's like the most linear. I think it's the most boring push map in my opinion. Do other teams? Do other other regions tender prefer Queen Suite or or Esperanza gets picked like Esperanza? Yeah, constantly. Yeah, because it's the uh, it's like the Korean special. I'd say. Yeah, I can't even picture it in my head. I we don't see it on this. We first off, not a lot of games don't go to game four, and when we do, it's it's usually Colosseo. I don't. Yeah. It's the most brawl centric one out of all of them. Uh, Esperanza is pretty open. You can play dive comp because of the once you get it past the first like arch, mm. you can set oh, up I your know. supports yeah, and your poke like, and yeah. play from the high ground. Um, yeah, you don't see a ton of new Queen Street, but that's brawl sided as well. Um, especially because you can stack inside the little windows at about like uh, I think twenty meters past center. 20 to 30 meters, and you can still contest the cart from that little uh, high ground with the mini room. Oh, it actually contests the bot? Mm-hmm. Really? Yeah, so... That's actually sick. Uh, we played... Or we, when Reinhardt was still good and Push had just come out, you could play with a Reinhardt and a Mei, and you could just cycle cooldowns, and you could contest consistently. And... <gasps> no, nothing uh, you could do about it. <laughs> yeah, there wasn't much you could really do about it, because you had to give up uh, presence on the bot and rotate either either direction and once that was over or once the rotate began you could drop as the rush comp and then basically follow them yeah or you could just steal the bot and rotate sure that's kind of funny though it, it, that's kind of funny <laughs> it used to be even worse right now you have to be like right on the ledge hmm. but the area i see they're gonna pick new queen street um uh, interesting I, map. I'm not gonna lie to you. I love that map. I know I, I, a lot I don't, of people don't. I don't mind it. I push it. Push it fine. I like Coliseo the least because I think it's the most boring out of all of them. Yeah, probably. But no, it's the best for Zarya though. New and Queen. I, I I think they're gonna want to play Zarya. I, I I think Queen is probably gonna be what we see. I what I'm predicting I, at least. I don't. I would be. Beyond surprised if Falcon picked anything other than Queen. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. He's been cooking on that hero for the yeah, past like three steps. Didn't did Pepper play that? Because they, they just rotate the support, so it's like yeah. Shadow J Rod. Um J Rod Pepper. I think. Shadow Pepper. Shadow J Rod? Uh, yeah, if they're saying R, then... Wait, they didn't get the drop in. 
Oh, I see. They, I think oh, they I did. I, th I think Pepper Crystal was already out. Okay. Yeah. Okay. That makes sense. Oh boy. Well, here we go. New Queen Street. Hey. Personal favorite. And I guess the uh, the choice here for Saginaw. Well, we don't see it that often. So mm -hmm. picking a map that's played less. Yeah. If you play on it, that's just that's just good comp competitive uh, tactic here. Run me through a little bit more of the map. Uh, we talked about that that one zone. But what are what are some of the other what are the, some of the other parts of the map? What what's kind of favorite? I, I actually have no idea what works DPS wise on here. I've only ever thought about the tanks. Um, Sojourn's good. Tracer's always good on folk. Tracer's just good on every single game mode and almost every single map. Um, especially because you can pirate the bot or you can pressure the bot and have the rest of your team rotate. Because it's such a flat map, you can have your team poke and your team pressure and. Uh, play in the fight and your tracer can push the bot and you don't really lose altogether that much value the tracer's so mobile she can just move rejoin the fight they're gonna run ram so yeah they're, they're running the moira kiri it's a good support comp it, it's like a, a slow clean comp. i think most people are more used to those like either these seem to be popular characters just in the game Moira is hard to kill. Kiri is hard to kill. Yep. If you're not comfortable on the movement for Lucio, because that's the big thing about the character. Lucio is, I think, probably the best support right now. Okay. Just, just in general. He's, he's just always been one of the harder ones in the game. He's his defensive hoop is so huge now. He's a better player. Yeah. In yeah, almost right. every way. At least it's low. Here we can see. Yeah, very low. They're gonna have to invest the lamp to keep him up. We'll get to keep brawling though. There is a there's a good um, enough amount of healing on there. You can see Barsic trying to uh, maybe apply that DPS passive, maybe fight from another angle. Squishy and, and Barsic will find some kills. Down Down. Super low. Maybe they find something. Neither team can really find a foothold here. They both have a little bit of poke and a little bit of raw, and neither seems confident getting too terribly into it in, in either one right now. Squishy does find the kill on the Blackjack, though. Shadow finds it on a Barsic. It's going to be at very much Saginaw favored. Well, they do have uh, Deadly still up. Falcon will finally find the kill. And uh, there goes the bot on, on the adventure. Now, this is big. Whoever gets the advantage, really easy to keep it. Yeah, usually who wins the first fight ends up winning the map just because of how pushes works yeah um that might change because their lawrence is so far up in ult charge right now mm. they're, they're gonna have ramatra ult and window and if they take the fight fast that's it we're at 80 90 we might get bob but ramatra ult is just so much more impactful than bob like it, it they need to take this fight now if they win they, and they get spice from window as well they might be able to take back ten otherwise the first push team just gets to cycle ults and they just win Megan here getting a little bit low, getting in a fight in the back line, but J-Rod finds the kill onto the tank. Blackjack will return the favor onto the Bob, but uh, Falcon and Squishy, here comes J-Rod. All of Sagan are finding kills here. There's Shadow. Team kill. Oh, yeah, that's, just noted. It's the first that's checkpoint. That's the first checkpoint. That's 57.18 meters out of, what is it, 120 meters, I think? It's 120, 130, somewhere around there. And a couple of vaults here for Sagan. It's going be huge. 132, but you're wrong. 132, 130, something mm, like that. Sure. We got a Widow Swap as well. Um, they're, they want to deal with the, the Ash. Mm. So Squishy's just kind of a menace at this point. <laughs> Finding a lot of kills and a lot of damage here. We've got the Queen Chow, takes a lot of space. We're going to have to invest a couple of abilities. Dr. Deadly, though, on the Sigma will find some value. Blackjack's going to have to back up down to, uh, down to just a sliver of health. Get up. The only remaining 200 health hero, if I'm not mistaken. Tracer's at 175. There's 175. What is 200? And I don't yeah. think and I, what, Zen is 225, right? I think Zen is 225. Zen is 250, I think. Still up to 250. Okay. Yeah. Are there any 225s? Oh, I'm, I got yeah. Ooh, that's unlucky. Lamp invested and J Rod still gets a pick. Falcon's gonna get dangerously low. We'll actually go down to Dr. Dr. Degley. Old Essence is committed. It's pretty even on ultimates here. They're a little bit ahead on Bob. Widow ult doesn't really do a ton, to be honest. It's not um, almost a very nice draw. 
Uh, it's not necessarily the most impactful one. It's a, it really just benefits Widow more than any. Shadow's on the flank. I mean, that character can kind of just take a duel. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. If Widow gets picks off of it, it's either the most impactful ult in the game or the least impactful. Especially, yeah. with, especially with the Sombra Swap. Interesting, they're trying to halt it with the Sigma Flux. We'll find at least a little bit. Falcon's going to get really low, but won't find any kills. Here comes in the ult, the Mega has the Beyblade of Doom. Falcon goes in, finds it onto the tank. That's really all you need. That's gonna go down in just a second, as well as Eddie. Should be the, the fight. fight for Saginaw. There's and he's chasing Widow as well. Oh, Mega does? <laughs> that was, I don't know where that happened. Yeah, they preserved their uh, their Blossom as well. So, fights got used, but like I said, it's not necessarily the most impactful ult for anyone other than Widow. Hmm. Uh, one of the only, the only they, times I could find. They, <laughs> Bob, Bob in rush is terrifying. Oh yeah. Ooh. It's like that's, another tank. That's everything defensive force stuff. They got out suck. They got out most of Sigma's shield. They got out lamp and they got out Suzu. And Mega just got a big. That's gonna be huge. It's gonna be a big win. Mega goes crazy. Points four kills. Five. Five. Five kills from Mega. Let's go. Mega goes crazy. Five kills. Mega goes crazy. That, that's that's almost map here. Getting it to this point, I have almost never seen a team come back from this um, from this deficit. It definitely definitely can happen. Um, I think both these teams have really high potential for huge bursts of impact and randomly take like three team fights in a row. <laughs> Dread and Belly finds it on the J Rod. The random kills from both of these tanks in the neutral are just crazy. They can they can just find value and get out. I, I don't know how they stay alive. I check finds the one on uh, the kill on the Falcon. I'm not saying it's gonna have to back up. 115 is not easy, but at least they have it almost up to 40. St. Lawrence definitely has a shot here. They have control of the bot. It's just, you win a fight to get the bot back to where you were at, and then you have to win another fight to start pushing. Yep. So if if Saginaw makes it fight here, that pick might seal it. You really don't want to fight here. That's a really unfortunate really bad snowballs here. Saginaw's trying to back up and they're losing people as they go, so it's going to be hard for everyone to, to stay grouped up. Hey, they're going to start pushing the bot here. Find ourselves a bit of a fight. But this is, this is... Talked with them about this the other day. They got to pick die or get out. They get out here. Falcon's going to get really low. We'll, we'll get out with Shout as well as the Queen ult. You can tell by the body language, waiting for everybody to get grouped up a little further. Mega finds the kill onto the blackjack. But, uh, everyone's still up, everyone's still up. So, oh, here's all the pressure. Falcon's gonna be able to push in with the rest of the team. Shield's not gonna be fine too much. You look for the rock. Couldn't quite find it. I think there was something on flank there. Ooh, does find a couple of really nice shots, but then they keep tagging on their toes. But Mega, Falcon, they're gonna, they're gonna clean it up. They're gonna clean it up. If they can close the distance, the queen comps is gonna excel. I'm, I'm honestly surprised that Falcon was able to live there, and he just kind of ran in front of a window. Like he, he had coalescence healing, but that's actually insane. That's a huge job from Saginaw supports. Because if he goes down there, that's 70 meters probably. Mm. They, they make it to 70. Usually you assume about 20 meters. Sure, they get a little bit extra for the butt scratch phase, which if you didn't know, the bot has to stop and scratch his butt. They whiff flux. <laughs> I didn't know this was a thing. I've learned something new today. Yeah, when, when he stops at the... Oh, massive ults here from Sagamore. They find the EMP and the Queen ult. It's gonna find pretty much everybody. Dr. Deadly's gonna go down. Blackjack is the only one who could find a kill with the ult. But uh, I think there you just think don't get back in time. They, you just get the push. They took tempo, they EMP'd, they used Queen ult. And that, I think that's the map. The MP goes out, you have no more defensive utility. Ooh, oh, Bob, how comes the Bob? Bob rush, They're Bob gonna rush. stay alive at least for a second. They might win this fight. Bob Rush is kinda crazy. Oh, Never mind. Oh, the Mega's got the all Bob finds Mega one, Mega things. finds what all of them. Three. Mega! And yeah. SPC will take it. They push the bot to the That's end. Huge. Yeah, so they probably make playoffs as well. That puts them at four and three, so I think that puts four them and three. either third or fourth in their bracket. You their win. division. Yeah. Huge win for Saginaw. Uh, they'll win this one three to one uh, versus St. Lawrence, but what a game though. Yeah. For real, what a game. Um, some absolutely crazy performances from everybody. Mega with a 5K.
Uh, absolutely nuts. Jeez, man. Nothing makes me, like, want to play Overwatch more than that. I've been watching that. That, but, that was a really good game. Good game. That was a good game. I, Saginaw got some, some huge alts throughout yeah. the entire game, and they kept the tempo rolling. St. Lawrence, it looked like they were they were stacking defensive utility a lot. So when, when they were playing the Zarya comp, you saw them use uh, both Lamp and Suzu at the same time. Or you would see them use Lamp, Suzu, and a bubble uh, to try and keep a Zarya alive. Hmm. But Nagano just, it looks like they noticed it and they were kind of able to punish it later on. Hmm. Uh, I'm proud of them. <laughs> they a did game. a good job. It was a good game. Uh, that will... That that will mean that we have more more Overwatch more Overwatch next week for playoffs when they when when they start. I'm always always love Ken. Game brings mm -hmm. brings me joy. I get to talk really fast. So <laughs> thank you so much, Venny, for coming out. Thanks I, for doing it. So with much me. Fun, fun. So much fun casting with this man. If you ever are on on campus and you ever see this guy right here, uh, and you want to know anything about Overwatch, he will be able to tell you more than I <laughs> know about pretty much anything. Very solid. The go for real. The go for real. Uh, or just if you have any interest about playing as well, um, other than just talking, please come on down. Um, there's not much of a, a thing for uh, we we haven't we haven't pushed this in a, in a while on the stream. Uh, Saginaw Esports is we're, we're just a club sport. You kind of just come on down. We have people who who came on and were bronzes. Yeah, uh, and we, now they're now they're playing and whatnot. It's, it's yeah. not about rank at all. It's just, they're not in play, so please, please come down and play. I, I, I have, we, we haven't been pushing that for 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 minutes. Yeah, I have players going from the A team to like IGM um, to people who are like bronze and silver, and it's just a huge. Mm. Uh, I've like we got just about everyone. Pretty much, we I think we might have almost every, every rank on the team, but, which is a lot of fun. So I don't if, think we have bronzes anymore. I don't. Think, I don't think we. Yeah, yeah. I think everyone's everyone's up to least up to so everyone's trying. Right. Everyone on C is at least gold. Mm. At least close. Well, they will be. Will be after. After. <laughs> um. Outside of that, uh, we also have League of Legends, Rocket League, Super Smash Bros, and Valorant. Those are the five games we play. If you uh, if you want to watch any of those or uh or or play for any of those, um, come on down. We mm -hmm. we usually have tryouts at the. Around the second week of each semester, so so come on down for that. But thank you, any everybody who came out and and watched. Thank you for anybody who watched on stream down in the student life center. Thank you to anybody who watched the stream from St. Lawrence. It was a great game. As always, um, I believe that's all we got for you guys tonight. Tomorrow yeah. we have Rocket League to finish off the week. I I don't know who will, which team will be spectating for that, but it, it, Rocket League is always a lot of fun. It's gonna so. be one of each. Uh, they play at seven, eight, and nine. Oh, let's go! We get yeah. to see all of them. So, so that'll be a lot of fun. Um, thank you as always. I believe that's all we got. Thank you. Have a very good night. Have a good night.